Hey, what's up? Welcome to another video. It's me, Fan Staff, and I uh, I represent uh, this video called "How to Make Custom Sounds in Vanilla Minecraft." That is great. Actually, it's you need a texture pack for this, but it's it's Vanilla Minecraft. Yeah, that, yeah. So uh, let's just get to it. I hope you enjoy. So, um, as I said, in order to add custom sounds to your Minecraft game, you will need a texture pack. And in case some of you guys are wondering, I am running 1.13.2 at the moment. And l listen to this. <laughs> so cool, man. Listen, wow, I'm going to show you guys how to do that and a lot of other stuff with sounds um, in this video. So uh, let's get to it. Now, the first thing we'll need is a resource pack or a texture pack that we can edit. So let's just go ahead and get a resource pack. Now, the texture pack I'm using is the new Java textures which is available for download on minecraft.net and the uh, link will be in the description of course but let's just uh, let's go ahead and download it so we click here and it will download it down here now we want this to be on our like desktop or somewhere we can find it so uh, let's just put it there now we have it right here a lot of numbers uh, really doesn't matter you can name it whatever you want you can name it um, custom sounds there we go and uh, we actually need to unzip this so you just unzip it I'm sorry this is all in Danish that's how we roll anyway it's unzipped and uh, it's right over here. There we go. You can just delete that. We don't need that. And now the next thing you're going to do is just go down to your little search thing and just type in app or percent app data percent. And I fucked that up. There we go. Very nice. And open Minecraft and resource packs. And let's just drag our new resource pack in here so far so good now we have our new resource pack right here let's just open it up go into assets and minecraft now we have all the textures in here whatever that's not anything we need to think about right now the reason i unzip the texture pack is that we can actually make new folders now so let's make a new folder and call it sounds and then we go in here and let's make a new one called what a, you can call it whatever you want but I'll just call mine custom that's our custom sounds and now in here we can add a sound I'm gonna just paste my Mario sound right there um, but you can use whatever sound you want, of course. Now, this file with the sound needs to be an OGG file. Um, you can record it like however you want on your PC, but it needs to be an OGG file um, inside, inside the texture pack. And there's a lot of websites that you can like convert every file to OGG file. Um, uh, there will be links in the description to uh, to a website that I'm using. Um, we can also actually let's record one now. Let's do that. This is the website I'm using. It's called Cloud Convert, and as it says, convert anything to anything. Hell yeah, that's just what we need. So I've recorded three sounds. What am I saying? Four sounds over here, and let's just drag them in. And now they're here. 
and now you can click convert convert all to video OGG and start conversion now it will take a little while depending on like how big and how long the, the sound file is but these were done pretty quickly so you just download them like this and now we have them all yes all right so now we've got our four sounds here in uh, in OGG files and let's just uh, let's just show you guys how to add them to your game so first off let's rename them to whatever you want so I will just name Jeffrey high or Jeff high uh, you can name it whatever you want just not cap capital letters um, and you'll see why I, why I named it this later but you can name it whatever you want really and let's just uh, door open and the two others we will worry about later now in order to tell the game how to play these sounds uh, we'll need to go back um, out here and we'll add a sounds.json file I've got it copied here uh, download to my file will be in the description go check that out guys if you want now um, let's just go into this you can open it with whatever text thing you have and it'll look like this now this one already shows us or shows Minecraft how to play the Mario jump sound um, but if you guys want to add another sound which we want to and you want to copy this and then do a little one of these enter and paste it here and now we just want to make this line up right there right it lines, lines perfectly up anyway our next one will be Jeff high so this is a command you're gonna type in Minecraft you're gonna type slash uh, play sound and then this uh, and this is the folder so our folder is the uh, uh, let me see yeah it is the custom folder right and our um, file or OGG file whatever is called Jeff hi so now this should work you can copy this and paste it down here make another one say door open Whoop. and let's just door open there we go and remember to save it by pressing control s or just save it up here it's whatever we can close this and we can go back into minecraft now we're back inside minecraft and let's just open our resource packs and let's just equip the custom sounds. Mario works. Amazing. Now, we want this guy called Jeff um, to say hi, right? When we step on the pressure plate. So. In order to play this sound, you do play sound, and then Minecraft, and then whatever it was called in our JSON code. So we called it custom, and you can see it already shows up, Jeff High. And this you can choose whatever you want. I like to choose a master, just because that is like the master volume, whatever. Um, and then let's do at P and there we go at P is just the nearest player if you guys want to know this is the command to play our sound now let's put it in the command block and step here hello my name is Jeffrey 
He said, hello, my name is Jeffrey. Great. It wasn't me at all that said that. Hello. My name hello. is Jeffrey. My hello. Name is Jeff my hello. name is Jeffrey. My name is Jeffrey. Great. <laughs> all right, you can do whatever you want with these sounds. Um, you can also add sounds that is not you talking, of course. It can be every sound. Now, let's do the same thing in here. Just change Jeff High to Dog. And, and let's see here. Mm, welcome to my house. Oh, thank you, me. Mm, welcome to my house. Mm, welcome to my house. <laughs> Great, right? So that's just some custom sound you have added. Um, the only thing, the only way you can get him to uh, to play is by typing the command. Now, if you want to change an already existing sound in Minecraft, I'll be showing you guys how to do that now. So let's try changing a sound. We can summon a zombie. And what if we want him to say something else when he gets hurt? So now it's just a normal sound. But let's change that. Now, how can you change this? Let's try and play it first. So it's called Minecraft, of course. And then Entity. Zombie. Oh. And hurt. That is the sound that it uses. And as you saw before, the other one was called custom .jeff high. So that was in the custom folder. And this one uh, was the, the file that was called Jeff High. So let's let's just uh, guess that this will be a folder called called entity this will be another folder inside that folder called zombie and then the sound will be called hurt let's try and edit that so we're back here inside the resource pack and let's enter the sounds folder and make a new folder called entity now inside this folder we'll make another one called zombie hell yeah and now in here the sound will be so let's open up custom and just uh let's see i think it was record to let's just put that back into sounds inside entity and inside the zombie one and remember to call it hurt now Let's go back again, because of course we need to change the sounds.json. Let's do that. Let's copy this real quick and paste it here. And now we'll call this entity dot zombie. Wahoo. And hurt. And we'll do the same thing here entity zombie and hurt it's as easy as that now let's go back into minecraft and see if it works now when you've added new sounds to your minecraft uh, resource pack you might need to just take it off and put it on again because um, then it's updated, right? Let's try again. Now, the zombie hurt sound is a bit different because it has many, many hurt sounds. So let's just, uh, we only changed one of them. Let's just try and see if we can hit that one. We couldn't. <laughs> Great. Let's try and actually play it. Play sound. Minecraft. Entity. Uh, som zombie. And let's just do the 
parts. Google Master. At <coughs> that was loud. Oh man, why? Did you hear that? That was the right one. Let's try again with the zombie. Oh, man. Why? <laughs> Did you hear that? Great. That's just me saying, oh man. Oh, man. Why? <laughs> Great. <coughs> but of, of course it has many different sounds. <laughs> but this is kind of funny. Um, you can do this with so much stuff. For example, if we wanted to change the underwater thing, the sound that comes when you go underwater, it will be play sound uh, ambient. And oh, I keep underwater. Enter. That sound right there. And you can you can guess what another folder called ambient another one called underwater and the sound called enter and I actually changed that let's just hear that oh well this is something new as well did you hear that amazing right now that was it for my video today I hope you guys enjoyed and woo I'll, uh, I'll see you guys later, I, I guess. Um, downloads to everything, JSON file links and stuff, be in the description, check that out. And also, if you haven't already, join my Minecraft server right now. It's an amazing SMP server. And you, you have to join it. Or the, uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a end you. Nah, don't worry. Like and subscribe, hit that bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Ha. <laughs>